Imagine this, you are just one step behind with your dream job in TCS. But there are thousands of students who are preparing for the same spot. So you need a particular strategy before you step into the war. But what if I tell you that it just requires 5 crucial subjects that will make you or break you through the preparation. There are many students who are supposed to give their interview in TCS Ninja role. But most of the people are totally unaware on what exactly we need to prepare for this interview. Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to talk about in detail about what are the must do subjects whenever it comes to the TCS Ninja interview. I have already made a videos on what are the must do subjects for TCS Digital and TCS Prime Profile. If you haven't watched that video, the link of those videos is given in the description box. In this video, I'm going to tell in detail about which are the must do subjects and which are the must do topics in those subjects. So I highly recommend you to stay till the end of this video. I am Pramod Bosley, working in TCS for Digital Profile since 2 years. Just in case if you are new to our channel, do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos. Now without any further delay, let's proceed. Object Oriented Programming Object Oriented Programming are the basic building block of any interview. So make sure that you have prepared this subject really well. Even if you are not from the computer science background, you have to be a thoroughly prepared with Object Oriented Programming. But most of the students are preparing this Object Oriented Programming in wrong way. What basically they do is, whenever the interviewer asks them any questions related to the OOPS, they mainly deliver the theory answer. Now please tell me that, do you think that giving the theory answers in the interview, will that make any sense? Absolutely no, right? Let me tell you what is the best practice you need to follow while practicing OOPS concept. Do remember that whenever the interviewer asks you any questions on OOPS, first give them a real life example and then try to relate it with their conceptual things. For example, if someone asks you, what do you mean by polymorphism? Instead of giving them directly a theory answer, first tell them a real life example. Like, when I go to a college, I become a student and when I go to my home, I become a son. In this way, the single entity is acting differently in different scenarios and this is what we call as a polymorphism. After giving such way a real life example, then try to give a bookish definition which you know. Now think just like that, if you are able to relate a real life example with technical concept, this will create a huge impact on the interviewer. So please follow the similar practice for all the OOPS topics which you are preparing it. Database. Database is considered as one of the most important subjects whenever it comes to the interview. If I tell you about my interview, it was nearly 40 to 45 minutes of interview took place only on the database. So from this, you might have guessed that how much important this subject is. But the biggest question comes in, which are the most important topics that I need to prepare from database section. So these are the topics that you have to be a thoroughly good with. Normalization. Normalization is most widely used topic whenever it comes to the database. So make sure you are really good with topics like why do we need a normalization, what is normalization and types of normalization like 1NF, 2NF, 3NF and BCNF. Apart from this, you have to be a really good with topics like acid properties and keys like primary key, candidate key and super keys. Also make sure that you also know the difference between each keys as well. And finally, without which database is completely incomplete that are joins. You have to be a prepare a joins really well. Also at the same time, make sure you are also practicing some basic queries as well because there might be a possibility that interviewer can ask you to write some basic queries during a time of interview. So please make sure that you don't skip the database in any case. Data structures and algorithm. Tell me, is there any company that don't ask any questions on data structures and algorithm? Because DSA is one of the most widely used and widely asked subject whenever it comes to any company, whether it is a multinational company, that is service based companies or the product based companies. We know that data structure is basically classified into two types that is linear data structure and non-linear data structure. But the students who are preparing for service based companies, especially for Ninja role, make sure that you have to be a thoroughly good with linear data structure. Also at the same time, one thing I would like to recommend you while preparing this subject is knowing the applications of each and every single data structure. You cannot skip this part because knowing the applications of each data structure is really important no matter to which company you are giving the interview. Now, talking about the non-linear data structure, if you are preparing for service based companies, you don't need to worry about writing code. But make sure you are really good in knowing the terminologies of non-linear data structures. 
like what do you mean by tree what is graph what is the height of a tree what is the depth of the tree etc so this is all about the data structure section project studies projects are the most important part whenever it comes to the engineering or any of the campus placement so please make sure that before you appear to any of the interview you have at least two projects on your resume so whenever the interviewer ask you about your project make sure you explain your project in short and crisp way so that the interviewer gets a clear idea on your project whenever you are mentioning the things about your project don't forget to mention these four important things what is your project what problem you solve which technology you used and what was your role please make sure that you are mentioning your role at the end so that interviewer can ask questions only on your role rather than asking questions on whole projects if you want to know how to explain your project in more detailed way i have already made a video on it so please go and watch that video the link of that video is given in the description box so this was all about the most important things that you need to prepare for the tcs ninja interview i hope this video has made some sense to you and now you got a clear idea on how to prepare for the interview